Mostly greetings. Hello, at your boy, Prue. How you doing today? So I got my results in for COVID-19. I had to go to some place that had Wi-Fi, stayed in my car. I saw I got the email. So I drive somewhere, stayed in my car, found out I was negative. So now I bought myself treats. And y'all gonna see the treats I bought myself. So here we go. Prue's book haul, too many books that I've hauled lately. Gonna do an unhaul at some point, I guess, I don't know. But I went to the library after I found out I was negative and uh, I'm very excited about that. And they have a little cell rack in my library. It's just a small six foot, couple shelf books that I can buy. They're like 50 cents, a dollar, a couple bucks a piece. I think some of the big ones, like the newer novels that people donate are five. But uh, so here's what I got. First of all, I got Into the Wild by John. It's Into the Wild. Apparently this is epic. A lot of people told me this is the classic depiction of what they refer to as the American novel. In my 11th grade class, I had an English teacher named Mrs. Green. I don't give her enough credit. She really taught me a lot. But uh, she gave me a book reports to do. And one of them I did not do is Into the Wild. I don't remember why. But I remember I did do it. I got that. I'm like, you know what, Miss Green? I might send this on Facebook. Hopefully someone from our school still gets you. I'm going to do that book report and I will send it in. I'm in my 30s. <laughs> it's going to be really freaking late. <laughs> I'll take a B minus. I'd like my grade altered after I get this done. Or you don't ever see it, and this book sucks, and there we go. Who knows? All right, next. Next, I got John Green's Looking for Alaska. The one John Green book I did read was called No Fault in, Fault in Our Stars, No Faults in the Stars. It was that movie. My wife was a big fan of the movie because she has a crush on the Ansem Elgort guy. I'm cool with it. He's a handsome dude. Uh, but I, I didn't... That's only John book... John book, ugh, ugh. John Green book that I've ever read. And they had this for 50 cents and it won a, a big golden P. <laughs> that sounded bad. Sounds like needs to drink some fucking water. But John Green's looking for Alaska. Never read it. All right. Now, while I was at the library, I checked out a book. I forgot who recommended this, but I was fucking sold. Apocalypse Cow. Zombie Cows. In the tagline, I am a sucker for a good tagline, but we're going to have to do this with metal. So, Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train. Technically, it's Sabbath. All right. Forget the chud, or the cud, I don't know how to pronounce it. They want blood, apocalypse cow. Thank you for that. I enjoyed that greatly. This video has been fun. I also got some Dean Coons. Lots of Dean Coons in my life lately. I, I've only got a couple Coons. Live expectancy. I think it's about a clock. Mr. Murder. Based on the cover, Snowflakes did it. Or that creepy guy who looks like he's in porno, usually fixing a sink. Can we talk about porno for a second? I have an issue with porn. They never tell you if the sink gets fixed, or if she passed her test, or if the kid made it into college. It's very upset. Don't leave me with an incomplete story. If you're a writer, I don't care what format you're doing. I need a completion. I need to know that he got into school. I need to know the car got fixed. Damn it. Uh, don't leave me on a cliffhanger. That's why I can't get into sci-fi channel or Netflix shows. Because they always leave you on a cliffhanger. That's not just pornography. Yeah. And also, seize the night. See, not a porn star mustache. Look, this is the guy you bring home to hang out with your dad. So you go, you guys will be buddies and you'll go golfing and you'll have barbecue. This is the creepy guy your mom invites home to pick up, fix the sink. It's been too many porn references in this video. But I don't care. I'm having fun. And I'm going to have a good day. You have a good day. Y'all stay creepy.